Hello and welcome to my presentation today. My name is Sascha Devay and I am working as a research associate at the Institute for Microproduction Technology at the Leibniz University in Hannover. Today, I'm going to present my investigations about an anisotropic magnetoresistive effect based sensor using daisy chain on a polyether ether ketone substrate. Let me give you first an introduction and the motivation behind this topic. The use of pre-structured polymer substrates made by plastic injection molding are in focus of researchers at our institute in order to shorten the production sequence and minimize costs of sensor systems. If, for example, a magnetic field is applied in parallel to the MR stripes of an anisotropic magnetoresistive sensor, a change in resistance is still produced due to the perpendicular current direction in the mantle arches to the magnetic field. Using non MR material to connect the stripes through laser direct structuring could eliminate the undesired resistance change in the non sensitive axis. For a comparison of a sensor system, AMR sensors and silicon are first of all manufactured for reference. Afterwards, AMR sensors on peak with meandric arcs are produced using pre structured peak wafer. And last but not least, AMR sensors are manufactured using a daisy chain layout. Therefore, laser direct structuring is needed. Holes are laser drilled into the plastic at the end of each meander stripe and connected on the back side of the substrate next to each other. On the front side, permalloy is then deposited by PVD with a layer height of 100 nanometers. And afterwards, structured by a subsequent chemical mechanical polishing step. On this slide, the different measuring signals of the sensor systems are compared by applying an external magnetic field through a Helmholtz coil arrangement. The AMR sensors manufactured on silicon with classic photolithography have a resistance change of approximately 2%, proving their technical feasibility. The sensors manufactured on peak have a lower resistance change of about 1.2%, which can be attributed to the higher surface roughness. However, measuring against the preferred direction, a small change in resistance can be detected on silicon of about 0.2% and on peak of about 0.5%. Due to the lack of meander arcs with the daisy chain layout, no resistance change is measured at all. With this investigation, a simpler process chain can be achieved to manufacturing magnetic field sensors by exploiting the physical properties of plastic to ensure an angle-dependent measurement. However, further investigation is still needed concerning reliability. For the time being, only the technical realization of such a system should be tested in this elaboration. Thank you for your attention. I will be available for questions during the poster session and look forward to the discussions.